Hello folks, I purchased recently some more ESP32 modules. Um, purchased another one of these modules here, these short form Wemos Lowland type uh, boards, specifically because it's ground on 5 volts and data on clock on these uh, corner pins which are at right angles to the main rows. Also purchased a battery uh, converter power supply unit um, and uh, what I also purchased a just get it into the front of the screen there a 1.3 inch OLED um, and so on this board I've soldered in um, some headers here so that I can plug in the display and it's plus 5 volt on ground and data on clock here and so that I can plug that board in the middle here to power the whole unit um, from a LiPo battery. I'm using, I've just got it to display the weather station again that I built for the, in the other video. And I'm using Daniel Eichhorn's um, excellent video uh, library for the um, SSD 1306 or the SH1106 uh, display chip. This board here, this display here uses the um, SH1106 so it's quite easy to connect and um, relatively easy to drive and as usual I've put, I'll put an example in the, in the GitHub link in the description below. I've also I think you can pick up from the code how very easy it is to make scrolling frames. I've got four running, they're just examples. Um, and, and also has a uh, useful function, is it has a, um, which I just learned today, it has a, um, a fixed display point at the top and a fixed display at the bottom and it just scrolls the center region there which is quite handy so there it is this is uh, I've just purchased it it's a 1.3 inch OLED SH1106 controller plugs onto an ESP32 um, I'm calling it a Lolin. It's a. It's supposed to be a Wemos board. Um, it it's making it look like the Wemos D1 Mini um, or a derivative thereof. Um, I'm finding it quite a useful development environment. Hope you enjoyed this video. Everything I do is to help people to learn and understand. I hope and. Um, I have no other reason for producing the videos than that.